Battle for Uranium. Rigged. A cross-out rant by Dangerously Incompetent. If you fancy the musical accompaniment to this video, follow the link in the description below. I battled my way from Rust to Silver League, despite the efforts of some of my teammates. I grabbed my 10 Uranium and ran. I'm not playing Battle for Uranium anymore, it's not worth the frustration. I played 152 matches to get that 10 Uranium and I wish I hadn't bothered. Now this is not the video I want to make, I want to make cheerful positive crosshair videos and entertain and enthrall my viewers and get them enthusiastic about playing Crossout and get more viewers and get more views and grow my channel. But when you're given lemons, you make lemonade full of bitter recriminations. The video I was expecting to make about Battle for Uranium is illustrated by this tally of league points I was keeping where you can see you get plus 9 to plus 16 points for a win and you get minus 1 to minus 6 league points for a lose. You're getting three times as many points when you win as you lose when you lose the battle. Which means so long as you're winning more than a third of your matches you can progress through the league. You can just grind your way to silver and get your 10 uranium. Very achievable, off you go. A, a positive video about Crossout. But I can't make that video because when I got to about 50 league points away from Silver League the scoring changed noticeably. I was losing far more points on a loss and I was gaining far fewer points when we won a battle. And this made the last 50 points to get into Silver such a grind. Much wailing and cursing and gnashing of teeth. And it's so noticeable, the change in the scoring, that I'm going to say league points are rigged to prevent you from getting into the Silver League and getting that delicious uranium reward. That was my experience in Battle for Uranium. What's yours been like? Because after all, I'm only going off one person's experience, mine experience. It may have been just the way my battles panned out that made getting the last 50 points into the Silver League such a grind. I know what. Let's have a look at the leaderboards for the Battle for Uranium. Uh, I was playing in the Master League, which was 7,000 to 8,000 power score. And there's me. So let's have a look at just how many people have managed to get to the silver. Oh, that's 1600, too far. There we go. 2,370 people have got into Silver League or higher and got uranium. Well, actually, it's probably a little bit more than that because the leagues aren't safe. You can get into Silver League, get your Uranium, lose a couple of more battles and sink back down into Bronze League. So maybe it's a bit more. <laughs> Around 3,000 people have managed to get silver, uh, to Silver League and get Uranium. And that's just with the 7,000 to 8,000 power score build. That's not a lot of people. I would expect a lot more people than that. I expected a lot more people than that to get some Uranium out of this. Or is it a damning indictment of the number of active players left in Crossout? Because there's only like 2,400 players got Uranium because only... Because only... 11,607 players have actually tried playing the mode. There's uranium up for grabs. All you need is a 7,000 to 8,000 power score vehicle, but only you know, 12,000 people have actually tried. All these people with 1,000, you start with 1,000 rating. Yeah. <laughs> Out of 79,000 people, only 12,000 have actually tried playing this battle mode, despite it being not very strenuous entry requirements and uranium as a reward. Not a lot of active players, I feel. 
maybe the league points are calculated to only let a percentage of the players into the Silver League. So there's only 2,000 odd people getting Uranium because there's only 12,000 people playing in the league. Whatever. Dear Tarjem, whoever's responsible for this miserly uranium reward, whoever made that decision to go, oh, we're only keeping a, a uranium for a select few, <laughs> you need to stop them making design decisions. They're killing the game. Get rid of them. You could have had a lot of happy players if you'd let them earn the uranium after a modicum of effort. You know, play a hundred battles in this roughly without quitting out or just suicide charge and whatever and and you get 10 uranium as a, a taste uh, that's all it is 10 uranium's nothing you still need 600 for a relic so it's just a taste but it's enough to keep people enthusiastic i i made i earned uranium this week i'm making progress i'm moving forward instead we've got 10,000 odd players who've played battle for uranium and not got far enough to get uranium it's, it's like, uh, was it 80% of the players have not got uranium despite trying for it? So next next week in Clan Confrontation, which Battle for Uranium has replaced, it's the same battle, it's just got a league attached to it with the uranium. Um, but next week in Clan Confrontation, I predict that player numbers are going to be right down. They're going to be significantly down because so many people will have played Battle for Uranium, had a negative experience, and you know no worthwhile reward. And they go, "Well, stuff, stuff, clan, clan confrontation. Not playing this again." When you move up into Silver League, you get ten uranium. If you manage to move up into Gold League, you get another ten uranium. And then come the ranking rewards, which are really juicy. <laughs> the rewards of uranium. But these just add insult to injury for the majority of players. Because it's the same old top clan players who are grabbing the top juicy rewards. And their ranking rewards, their end of event ranking. So these people are still fighting. These number one might not be number one tomorrow afternoon because they lost a few battles and someone underneath has won a few battles. So they're still playing. They're still playing heavily. They're the top players, and all the time they're playing, they're just ganking everyone else who is not so top and making it impossible for them to move up to, to Silver League and just get 10 uranium, just get a taste. This is exactly the same issue as we have in Clan Wars. Tarjem hasn't learnt. If you make it very frustrating, you hold out this juicy reward, make it really frustrating for the players, and they don't get any uranium at the end of it, eventually they get sick of it, and they leave. They stop They stop playing Clan Wars, they stop playing Battle for Uranium, they stop playing Crossout. It's one of the reasons so many people are leaving Crossout, and it's so disappointing to see the same mistake made again. In summary then, Battle for Uranium gets the dangerously incompetence, thumbs down. There is some scuttlebutt that this mode might return in the future or might become permanent. If it does and it's in the same format with the same rules and regulations and lack of uranium for most people, I'm not going to bother with it. That's it for this video. Tune in next video for more doom and gloom about Crossout. I'm looking at you, Iris.